Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to get some money. We are going to make some money, guys. Um, it is still December 1st, though, as you can see. Um, and that's because I actually forgot to deduct our our pallet mover worker guy's money. Uh, and I wanted to do that on camera so you can see that. Okay, so that has been removed from our farm account. Uh, our ledger is, is all weird, though, because of what we did in the last episode with, you know, Mama Joe's stuff. So, um, you know, because we basically temporarily gave ourselves a million dollars to do all this stuff. And then we gave it back at the end and set our money back to the way that it was. Um, but um, if you look down here, you can see that there is money subtracted. Um, that's both the train station and uh, what we just paid our workers. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is sleep until... January 1st, and then it's time to go to market. Uh, let's see. Look, is there anything on sale? Okay, nothing for sale. So, yeah, I'll check those as we go through the last two days in December. Okay, so we have a... Not really interested in any of this stuff. But... We have another flatbed trailer for really cheap, like dirt cheap, cheap, cheap. Um, and I was just trying to decide if I wanted to lease two of these so we can get two going at the same time. But I mean, except for we wouldn't lease it. We just flat out buy it because it's on sale. Um, I'm just trying to think how, of how practical that would be because we have to use the, yeah, I think that probably would work. I would also though have to lease a, another man truck or maybe a Mack truck because my pickup truck doesn't fit underneath here correctly. Cause it's just, it's too, too far back. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Yeah, I, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to buy this. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll put the extension on it for another 2000 bucks. Okay. So let's buy that. Now we also have a Massey Ferguson 8S in here. This is probably a medium sized tractor. It can go up to 305 horsepower. Um, which means we'd have to put, so it'd actually be 142. That's a nice tractor, isn't it? But I, I'm pretty sure my next tractor is going to be a large tractor. Um, yeah, I want it to be a large tractor with at least a minimum of 500 horsepower. So that way I can use it, you know, with the cultivator and I don't have to keep using the man truck for that. So that's nice, but yeah, not really what we're looking for. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and, so, oh, look at that. There's snow on the ground. How about that? Very nice. Okay, let's uh, sleep till December 3rd now. All right, here's what we got. The Dalbo roller is still up, and we also have a farm tech manure spreader, but this is for, I believe this is only for, like, vineyards and olive groves because it's a really narrow spreader. So, yeah, we don't really want that. We do want a muck spreader, but we don't want one like this because... That's too narrow. We, we want one that's going to actually spread a, a, a wide swath. So, okay. So we don't need any of that stuff. And yeah, I think we are then all squared away for December. I do actually probably have some eggs that I need to put away. Um, so yeah, let me do that. And man, where are we going to put this now? <laughs> well, we don't actually want to put it away at all right now. Because again, next month we're going to lease a second truck and... Um, you know, that way we can just kind of keep them going like we did last year, except for last year we used the auto loader trailers. This time we're going to use this flatbeds. So, uh, yeah, let me take care of the chicken uh, or not the chickens, the eggs. And well, actually, hold on. Let me look at the chickens. Yeah, they're fine on grain. Um, cows are doing fine on, on food. I, I pretty much top them all the way off. Uh, we are going to be selling milk this month, but we might wait until January 3rd so we can get, you know, the most possible there. And um, what else was I going to do? I was going to look at the greenhouses. Yeah, the greenhouses are fine. They're all in really good shape, so we're good to go there. Okay, yeah, I'll get those eggs put away, and then uh, 
we'll move into January 1st and make some money. So I'll see you guys in just a bit. Okay, guys, we're back and it is January. Let's take a look and see uh, what the market's doing. Actually, let's see what's on sale first. Uh, this is a farm tech uh, manure. Oh, it is a manure spreader. But it looks like it can be used for a, as a wagon, too. All right. So it looks like it has a 24 meter working width. Um, that's not, that's not terrible. What's this thing? That's a slurry container. Okay. No, we don't really need that. That looks like a front loader or something. There's a Fent header and a little Zetter tractor. Okay. This I might be interested in. But before we, before we do that, I just want to, this has a 24 meter working width. Let's look at, um, what the other options are here. So the one that's on sale is, wait, which one is the one that's on sale? It's the farm tech one. Okay. So let's go back to the, to here. Not that farm tech. Oh, why isn't that showing up? Oh, maybe because it's a combination manure spreader and trailer. I think that's probably what's going on. Okay, so if we go to... Those are forage wagons. Let's just look in trailers here for a minute. We're looking for the farm tech. Ah, okay, yeah. So so it is here. So that's kind of interesting because it's both a trailer and a manure spreader. Hmm. Okay. So it has a capacity of 45,000 liters, which is pretty good. And a spread width of 24. Now, if we compare that with the actual manure spreaders, that's only 8 to 15. I'm, look, I'm just looking at the width. That's 12. That's 10. That's 12. Okay, this one's 24, and it's $85,000. Um, so it's around the same price as the other one, except for the other one's the one that's on sale right now. That one's 24, that one's 24, and that one's 24. But these are only manure spreaders, whereas the other one is a manure spreader and a trailer. That seems like a pretty good deal to me, man. Um, you know, because if we decided to use it as a trailer too, we'd just wash it out really good. Twenty-four meters. And it, you know, it's got the, it does have the little spreader. I guess it's got the, okay, what's the configuration options? Oh, you have to put the manure spreader on it. Oh, I got you. Okay. I was going to say, so that adds another 20 grand to the price. So now we're up to 42. Um, how many months does this have on it? It has 32 months on it. So it's getting up there in age, but it's not something we're going to use a ton. Well, actually, maybe we will for. Fertilizing contracts. So the thing that appeals is just that it's, you know, can double as a, an actual trailer to and a manure spreader. And it's on sale. Uh, it's a touch on the old side, but not terribly old. So I think we're going to do it. Let's do it. It's got the, you know, it's, it's the spread width is as wide as any other base game manure spreader. So, all right, there we go. So we've got gotten two new old pieces of equipment before we even started selling anything. Uh, let's go ahead and get them both repaired too. Well, you know what? I should have waited on that actually, because we only have... <laughs> 13,995 and we're going to need to be paying workers. 
So yeah, we'll have to hold off on that. I mean, we're not gonna we're not gonna use this at all today, anyway. But this we probably will use. Um, and in fact, yeah, we're gonna have to lease a truck. How much is that gonna cost? So this Mac is one ten. This one's ninety three five. Yeah, that's only going to cost 4000 I mean, it's still... We still might need to take a very temporary loan out, uh, too, so we'll have to wait and see how that goes. All right, well, I only have one reefer here, the curtain side. How much would it cost to lease two of those? Um, actually, I think that's under miscellaneous. Oh, that that wouldn't be too expensive. Yeah, only fifteen hundred bucks. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to we're gonna lease another one of these. I don't care what it looks like; doesn't matter. And we're gonna lease um, a Mack truck. Back up here. Uh, we'll just get one of these. I don't care what it looks like. doesn't matter because we're just leasing it. All right. There we go. Okay. So now we have two trucks, two reefers, and two flatbeds. Our money's down to 7500 bucks. So if we if we run out, you know, uh, we'll just have to take a, um, a loan temporarily. All right, you guys. So here's the plan. Um, I'm obviously going to time lapse this because it's going to take me several hours in real life to do all of this. Um, so we'll just time lapse. We'll put some groovy tunes on for you guys and um, go from there. But what we're going to do is we are going to start with our pallets. And we are selling. Oh, it's not showing our produce as in storage here. So we'll have to look at it here. All right, so if you just look at the little table in the lower right-hand corner, you can see that we have 332,000 and change of lettuce, 76.5 of tomatoes, and 151.8 of strawberries. So, so we're also going to sell the butter and cheese out of here too, just because the price has gone back up. And so we might as well, not that we're going to make a ton of money on it, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, so the plan is going to be to sell all of that stuff. It's going to take multiple trips. And then when that's done, then we'll, like we did last time, we'll switch over to the silage. And um, we'll start loading that up and selling it. So, uh, I, yeah, so we're going to use both of these things right away because I'm, I'm going to try and have two trucks running all the time just to, so this doesn't take me so doggone long. So that's the plan, guys. We're sitting at $7,565 right now. Hopefully when this is all said and done, that figure will be over a million. I think it probably will be because, yeah, we have more, more stuff this time around than we did last time. Okay, so, yeah, enjoy the music. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the money. Let's do this. Thank you. 
sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. I told him I want that great love, like standing in the middle of a bonfire. You don't know how you got there, but you hold tight, knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other. I honestly don't know. And tell me how we messed up, drifting away from each other. Didn't wanna let you go. Carry on on your own. Ever since I got a good look in his eyes, I just knew that he was special. He said he wanna take it slow, but I couldn't help that I wanted to take it to the next level. 'Cause I wanted that great love, like standing in the middle of a bonfire. You don't know how you got there, but you hold tight, knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we. Day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind.
I used to stay up all night trying to find my place, chasing me on lights and looking for some kind of trace to lead me out of darkness. Give me a little faith, something to make me stronger, someone who could light the way. Then you came to me and you gave me reason. Can't believe it. Every time we touch, I feel at home. There's no way I'd ever let you go. When you put your hands in mine, I'm gonna be alright. I don't know what you do to me, but I feel like I am wake up in the sky. When you put your hands in mine. When I really come alive mm, yeah. Cause when we touch is when I really come alive mm, yeah. I don't know anybody that could compare to you The way you're always smiling, the way you light up a room I couldn't live without you, not even if I tried Cause every day I'm with you, I'm flying over the clouds Oh yeah, yeah, I'm flying over the clouds And I'm not coming down Every time we touch our feet That is it for the pallets. We are now at $459,230. Um, let's go ahead and uh, do a quick calculation here. Four fifty-five seven seventy-eight. Okay, so subtract eighty-five twenty or eighty-five two hundred from that. There. Okay, so we made three hundred seventy thousand five hundred seventy-eight dollars off of lettuce, forty-two point three off of tomatoes, and forty-two point nine off of straw. And then our total, of course, as it shows there for produce sales, is forty-five thousand or four hundred fifty-five thousand seven hundred seventy-eight. So pretty good money. And we're only halfway done. Uh, we still have to do all the silage, and we also need to do. Um, the milk and butter at the very end, which isn't really going to be that, that fantastic, but we'll do it. And then I might, I might sell some straw too. I still haven't fully decided yet if that's what we're going to do. Uh, so anyway, yeah, there you go. So let's go ahead and get started with the second half of our sales, which is going to be the silage. So we'll go back into time-lapse, put some more groovy tunes on and make some more money. So I'll see you guys on the other side. It's always 
Route 66 and we keep on driving We just do what we wanna do Yeah No, nothing's complicated
Place to be, no one's waiting for me. I won't lie, I'm into you. Got like a million ideas what we could do. Cause I'm not gonna let you slip away. I won't waste this. There's something about the way you fix your eyes on me. I can't help myself fall in love. I go crazy. Uh-uh. So what you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? Your voice, I think that every word you say to me is like poetry. I just want you for my own. It's really easy to tell that you're the best girl I've ever known. I'm not gonna waste this. Uh, uh, uh. What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? Uh, uh, uh. When you give me that smile, I think my heart's turning up the pace. I don't care about what we do if I get to be with you. the days pass by people would tell us 
to get a grip of ourselves and get a job we didn't care what we were told cause when we were younger we used to sit on the grass and go damn i don't want to grow old i wish i could turn back time mm -mm -mm. stay up all night singing songs on the terrace we didn't mind sitting out in the cold it was impossible to make us embarrassed We were free Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control When they found out we ran from home just to scare them We were free When we were 17 Stay in touch But we had to move on Life ran away from us If I could go back Be 17 again Yeah, I would Just to see all my friends Running around the city Acting crazy like we used to do I wish I could turn back time oh, ooh, ooh. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace We didn't mind sitting out in the cold It wasn't possible to make us embarrassed We were free Do you remember stealing smokes from your parents? Sometimes we got a bit out of control Sitting out in the 